cleanse this galaxy one planet at a time. The operation proceeds smoothly. Initiating STL jump to the Hellmeyer system. FTL jump successful. Hellpods prime. Mission coordinates locked. found something. Allied destroyer joining squadron, deploying Helldiver.
found something.
PGA Tour 2K23. My name's John McCarthy, and I am packing all the golf lessons. So I invite you to use these lessons to get you swinging that club like a pro and getting that little white ball around the course as best you can. Let's crack into it. Pull back on the swing stick to start your swing. When your golfer is at the top of their back swing, press the swing stick forward to finish the swing. Give it a try. That's the stuff. After each shot, you will get feedback about your accuracy in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a white stripe. And you need to keep your swing within that white stripe if you want your shot to be accurate. Now let's try another swing. Good job, that's what we're looking for. And you're also gonna receive feedback on your swing timing, and that's the meter that kind of wraps around the top of your swing accuracy indicator. Your backswing timing refers to the point at which you transition from backswing into downswing. If you do this too early, you're gonna reduce the power of your shot. If you do, nice work. Congratulations, you've got the basics down. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about one of the most important skills you can have at your disposal, and that is putting. Now to begin your putt, pull back on the swing stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be backswing meter at the bottom of your screen is going to give you a target for where your strength is. That's what we're looking for. The putt weight is how hard you hit your putt. To set your putt weight, move the aim marker with the aim stick towards or away from you. The further away from you the marker is, the stronger your putt will be. Since this is a little bit downhill, you'll, well, you've got that one down. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt's gonna break a little bit to the right, so you will have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the aim stick to make adjustments before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. Give it a go. Well done on that lesson. And with that, you are ready to pop the lights out. Hello and welcome to this lesson on clubs and shot types. We're gonna dig through that golf bag a little bit and I'll tell you a few simple tricks you can use to navigate some of the situations you find yourself in on the course. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are gonna have to club up or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wind. Well, no need to linger on this lesson. Now, it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now, to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Hmm, not, not quite there, is it? Let's try again. That was well done. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain, and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. For this particular situation, Let's change our club to the sand wedge and then change our shot type to a splash shot, which is a great shot for getting out of these greenside bunkers. After that, give that swing a go. See if you can stick it close. Good job on that one. And now that you know a thing or two about Hello there and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about techniques you're gonna to wanna to master if you want to compete with the pros. In this situation, we are gonna to need to take a partial swing. If you chip this with full power, it's gonna blow right by the hole. 
So we are going to have to move our aim marker closer to us to compensate. Move the aim marker a little bit closer to you. See if you can get about a 75% power chip and then use the backswing meter at the bottom of your screen to dial in the proper strength for this chip. Great work, looks like you've got the hang of that. You're gonna come across situations like this one where you want to adjust the spin and loft of your shot. In this case, we want to land our shot on the green softly without a whole lot of roll. And for that, we need to add some backspin. Hold down the true shot button and move your aim stick down to increase your loft and backspin. And then have a go at this pin. See if you can land it nice and soft and close. Not quite. Uh, let's reset. Try again. No, not quite. Let's try that again. Okay, this is where we part ways and all that's left for you is to choose a difficulty level. Then you can go ahead and customize your golfer in the My Player menu if you feel like it. If not, all good as well. We'll see you out there on the links real soon. A big hello for a big human down there on the tee. It's John Cena out with me, John McCarthy, today. Glad to see you. Happy to have you playing around a PGA Tour 2K23 with me. And today begins with a par four first hole. All right, load this one up and get that into the fairway. And we'll move on from there. That'll do. Second shot here on the first. Bounce right, come on. Safely on the green and from 23 feet away. Get there. Oh, ho, ho. fancy cutter work. All right, let's have another look. 